You're on live. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm on live. Sorry, Brian. Okay, I was just, sorry. I was just um, glancing through the Tom Thompson book uh, because uh, I was going to reference this vase. Um, this vase is a vase that I got from, from Steve a number of years ago, walked into his living room, and um, it was sitting there. And I said, oh, that reminds me of a Tom Thompson painting. Well, as luck would have it with my astute um, ability to pick up nuance, this was actually done for an exhibition, and this was based on a painting by Tom Thompson called Spring Thaw, which I thought I, which I know I have a photograph of, but I, and I popped down to Attic Books to get a book, but it's not in there. So anyways, if you look up Spring Thaw, but look at, it really has that, that reference, and a lot of uh, Steve Irvine, and Irvin. Steve, Steve Irvin, whose work we're going to be talking about today, a lot of his work references other things. For example, this wonderful mug that Brian managed to purloin. Actually, he didn't purloin it. It was a gift from Steve, but uh, it's Brian's birthday on Sunday. But look at this. You've got all these little figures, and one of my favorite glazes is uh, the Tomoko glaze and the... the the khaki glaze, I'd tilt it, but then I'd spill everything. But yeah, so you look at the, the design around there. So this is a, uh, from uh, Steve's new kiln. Uh, it's not from his new kiln. I can see, to, but it, we haven't last, had. It's from the last firing of his gas kiln. It's from the last firing of his gas kiln because he has moved from gas over to electric. And in here, we're going to have examples from both. Um, so it, so that's kind of cool. But you know, I also had Brian bring in one of the pieces from his collection, and you can see the design here. The design references the chaos theory. So as we all know, the chaos theory is the is establishing within a series of, within a parameter all the different variables that can define what the outcome is going to be. And it's really interesting because um, interesting to me because Steve was a the second graduating class from Sheridan under the tutelage of Ruth Gaddy McKinley. The first artist was um, uh, Keith. Keith Campbell, who we've spoken about um, often. And uh, so 67, Keith went to Sheridan, studied under Ruth Gaddy McKinley. Along comes uh, Steve when he was 16, and in 1968, also going to Sheridan. So you've got the, the referencing here of the, the chaos theory. What's also really interesting, of course, is the whole thing about variables. Ceramic artists often talk about the kiss of the kiln, and the kiss of the kiln is when something in the kiln, a, the glaze on it, influences something next to it. Now. Most artists, as a matter of fact, all the artists that I know, always think of the kiss of the kiln as being accidental. Ruth was so exacting in her knowledge of her kiln that once when Paula Murray was, had the pleasure of being able to fire a piece into Ruth's 14 cubic uh, foot kiln, um, Ruth said, well, where do you want the blush? And Paula thought she was kidding and said, oh, I want it there. And sure enough, when it came out, there it was. So obviously Ruth had a, a knowledge and an understanding of the variables that would position that, that blush where it was. Because remember, in the kiln, everything influences everything else. And that's enough of that talk, because I know that you're all really eager, as I am, to see what is in these boxes, because I don't have a clue. And as Brian told me, I have to talk a little bit faster because there are 30 pieces. And as the pieces uh, are shown, we're also going to let you know. Um, ooh, we're also going to let you know uh, how much they are. If you see something and you say, "Oh my God, I really want that," just put in the message there. Brian will see you, and he will tell me, and we will all rejoice that a sale has been made of the work of Steve Irvin. So here we are, and this is a bowl. And the, do we have, know how much these are? This is in a wonderful uh, scraffito. Do we have it there? I'm just looking. 45. This is 45. This is in a wonderful uh, blue glaze. And look at the, the, look at the shimmer of the glaze. And then, of course, you've got the scraffito uh, here, which is leaves a wonderful texture, a beautiful um, sex 
six petal um, effect, absolutely gorgeous, and that is uh, it's forty five dollars. And um, we've got somebody actually who's looking for a number of gifts, and I think we'll be in some time. Oh, this feels like a oh shit. This is, oh excuse me. This is really cool because here we've got a um, we haven't had mugs like this before. So look at that wonderful and actually it's really comfortable wonderful glaze inside and then here as opposed to scraffito this what he would have carved it and we have sold um carved uh, we sold a, a spectacular carved piece for uh of uh, of his for a substantial sum but how much are these they by? are 55 each these are 55 dollars each uh, a lot of work goes into this and uh, just remember that if uh, if this didn't have a handle we could probably get more for it because people like little bowls but this is absolutely beautiful good nice and comfortable good size yeah it works um so there we have uh, a mug and uh I really like his, his, oh, and look, if somebody's looking for a set of bowls, there we go. This one's, as you can see, is a little bit bigger. Um, matter of fact, that would probably stack in there quite nicely, which we're going to have to do because I have a funny feeling that we're going to fill up the table. Um, Steve is really an interesting dude. Not only does he do ceramics, he's also, oh, wow. Oh, and here's the design again. There's that design on that's on uh, Brian's mug. And this, of course, is uh, is pressed in, and this I'm sure references, um, and I can't remember the artist, but I, this references a. Uh, so this reminds me of something, but my mind is blank. If Steve's watching, he can type in what it reminds me of. But again, really, really beautiful colored. This is a completely different from. Uh, what we have seen from from Ke from Steve before, which means that he is, you know, all artists like to do different things. Some of them do the same damn thing all the time. It's, it's kind of boring. But here, this is different. Now, this is carved, whereas this is, is um, he's used a, a stamp of some sort to impress that. But isn't that wonderful? Same glazes, beautiful. Um, Steve's glazes are pretty wonderful. Steve is also very interested in photography. And we have some of his pinhole cameras, which we will do another talk on. The pinhole cameras are not, um, he doesn't make very many of them. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that is not COVID, just so you know. Um, but there you go. Michael Snow. Michael Snow wants this one? No, no. Oh, Mike Michael Snow. <laughs> right. Michael Snow, I know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Just, well, like, you know, Michael Snow's a name. Maybe if Michael Snow knew that his work was being emulated in mugs, he'd want one. And so anyways, the artist is Michael Snow. Just so you know. Hold the camera steady, Brian. So there you go. There you go. Uh, so that was uh, the word on high from the artist in play. And uh, so we now know that it is referencing Michael Snow's work. So we've got Tom's Thompson re uh, reference there. We've got Michael Snow reference there. You never know what you're going to find with... Oh, and here's another one. Somebody's going to be able to put together a set. So there you are. Now, see, of course, everything, because it's touched by the maker in hand and hand done, you see a slight variation if you like a little I bit love more coffee. how the design indents on the inside. Well, yeah, that's was, that's a good indication yeah. that it's pressed. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really see, nice. The, there's, the, uh, there's his backside inside. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, these mugs are lovely, and they're also really comfortable. They're really, really nice. And of course, I usually hold my mug like that. Uh, there's something about that grip. Anyway, there you go. And um, this is another uh, another of these short mugs. And, you know, one of the things about, about unwrapping them individually is that you get to see the difference. Like, see, look at the handle there. So this one, you could almost put your, a, this is a reminder of where you can put your thumb. Uh, here, this is for somebody who knows where their thumbs should go, but that's kind of cool. So there you go. Um, I love unpacking stuff. Of course, I hate it when they use newspaper because now I'm going to have dirty hands. But um, with lots of soap and water. Lots of soap and water, as Brian says. So there we go. Again, look at the the variation in in the handles, which is really neat. When people come in, we always say, you know, you want to you want to um, 
Oh, this is another mug. <coughs> yeah, and look at, I mean, this guy, they're kind of dancing there. Michael Snow was a happy guy, um, even though he's not buying a mug from us. These are the new cone six pieces from his electric kiln. See, I knew that. So these are from the electric cone. Because Brian told me there was only one cone six. Well, he pieces. said on the invoice it would say, but it didn't. It didn't. So, okay, so as usual, the artist has given us a little bit of information, but not a lot. Um, but he's again, watching, which is great. But he's watching, so he's keeping track of everything that I say. And um, so again, look at here. You, whoa, shit! Excuse me. Uh, so there we've got again these uh, these six. Be great pad thai bowls. Yeah, they would be great pad thai bowl or chili. Chili, any bowl or soup. Cereal. Or you know, for somebody who really likes a cafe au lait. Yes. And then you've got a choice of six or a cafe au lait for six people. <laughs> Though you can't really social distance with that. Um, but yeah, they're uh, kind of cool. And um, uh, here we have another one of the cone six little guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it would appear that... <coughs> There's six blue bowls. There's six blue bowls, and now we're at four. And uh, what's going on there up in, what's the good sales? Right. <laughs> I always like looking at the date of the newspaper to really see how often they, uh, they pack shit up for us, stuff up for us. <laughs> so there you go. We've got bowl number five. A yeah, great set. Great set. Yeah, we, we have no problem selling multiples. So, or if there's just three of you, mama, papa, baby bear. And there you are. So there we have that. So now we're obviously going to move on. To, I got to be careful that I don't let this box. Okay, so I think we have another mug here. And here's another one of, uh, somebody get Mike Snow on the line. So there, uh, there we go. Do you know the, the sh Ooh. oh, I, now these are always so cool. So, so that is, this is a tea bowl. No, that's a faceted tea bowl. No, faceted tomoko bowl. This is, how much are these? Those are 45 each. That is absolutely, I love tomoko. Those are stunning. This is absolutely beautiful. So this has been, uh, been thrown. You can see the throw lines right down there. And then after it's been thrown, it's been trimmed. It's been like shaved down. And then the nice thing about Tomoko is I love the way it breaks. So it breaks on the sharp ridges. So you get this beautiful shading uh, there. And inside you've almost got like an oil spot effect. And then when you look at, look at how it's, it's dark and then it goes like that and then it goes like that. And then I it, love that. What I'm beginning to wonder is that I think that might be intentional because if it's not intentional, this would be a kiss of the kiln that's just fabulous. Knowing Steve, it's intentional. I would think so. He's pretty good at that. But look at that. So you've got the, it breaks. That one's sold. Who bought that? James. Oh, it's going to Halifax. Off to Halifax. Yeah. Don't call Brian on his phone immediately after uh, James because it buggers up. The, the saving of the video. The saving of the video. But again, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. So you've got it uh, broken, not broken. Bro on. So this is really, really, and look down here the way that it, it goes down. So I, th I think, and I could be totally wrong, not that I often am, but I think what he's done is he's brushed the glaze a bit to encourage that, which is pretty damn clever. And if not, that's the story I'm gonna use. Anyway, <laughs> that is, I really like that. I, but again, we have a, a Joyce Wheatley casserole dishes at home and Liz Willoughby uh, jugs at home in this glaze. And I, oh, wow. See, that is $45 too. Look at that. That's gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, look at the way it breaks and then how it just, it's, this is absolutely stunning. You know, and when you think, for somebody who's looking for a really nice gift, $45, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck there. That's a stunning you bowl. Know? And you know, on my 35th birthday, I was, fell in love with this dinner set and Stephen was gonna take me out to dinner and uh, I, he said, what would you rather have, dinner at Winston's? Which would have been? And I said, no, I said, I'd rather have the dinner set. So here we are, uh, a number of years later, I still have the dinner set, yeah. whereas if we'd gone out for dinner, it would have been long past. <laughs> okay, so here we get, again, look at the handles. 
you know, the whole thing, the whole concept of touched by the maker. So naturally, when you only see one, when you're over at your friend's house and you're having tea, and this, you say, oh, isn't that really nice? But if they are cheap and they've bought two, they can then show you those variations and that whole concept that something is touched by the maker is pretty cool. And I think this is, uh, oh, finally, I'm not gonna get any ink from this one. Yeah. This is the coverage of Black Lives Matters in some states, empty. Okay, so here we get, again, look at the, the little bit of the green that's there that sort of bleeds into the blue, which I would imagine when you get the blue and the yellow, there's this little, this blushing that happens that gives you a little bit of a green effect and um, beautiful Celtic knots, um, which means that he has too much time on his hands. And let's, yes, yeah, that's a nice, Steve lives way up north. Beautiful property. Gorgeous, uh, lives in a church. It's the only time that I go in one. And again, look at, look at this. Look at the coloring and the way that it breaks. I mean, if, these are just absolutely, absolutely stunning. And look here, he's just sort of like pushed this one in just a little bit more than he's done that. But I, I, that's the whole thing, that whole touch by the maker that makes everything so exciting when you're looking at these at these things. Also, what I really love about this, for any of you from out of town, this is really easy to ship, as opposed to Deanne Nasser over there. That's from Brian's collection. But uh, anybody thinking that we ever shipped any of her place, there's no way, oh! That's this. a tea bowl. Okay, so Steve does these incredible tea bowls, and he will do, in a kiln load, he'll only do like two. At least that's what he told me the last time. So we don't get very many of his tea bowls. His tea bowls are $100, but the look at the carving. The carving is absolutely beautiful, but also look how the glaze has puddled on the ridging. And it, it, the colors, and it's just, and you can see that the glaze that he's used is the glaze that he's used in the mug there, but it has broken differently here. And you've got this, it's absolutely fabulous. And there's a crispness to the carving that is just beautiful. It's almost as if you're looking at, at something that has been done with, um, it's almost as if there's an origami skin to the vessel. And then inside the way, that, I mean, the, his tea bowls are, extraordinary. I already have one of them at home and I want another one from this batch today, but I'm not deciding yet because I'm gonna, I am want to see everything. Okay. The glaze is made from local clay. And that's a local, so that's a, not only is it a Canadian artist, Canadian clay, Canadian glaze, you can't, and here is, again, these are spectacular. When you think these are only $45. Um, that's, that's a lot of work for 45 you know, We throw out the prices because we're, you know, we're not doing this for free. Uh, it's really important, you know, to support the arts, not just sit there and go, oh, that's wonderful. So there you go. And absolutely magic. Um, I think he must have sent a, Oh, and here we've got another one of the faceted tea bowls. There are three of them. Okay, so again, now it's interesting because here, I want you to look. So the one that, that's going to Halifax, unless... Uh, so here you've got that break, okay? So there's odd panel, odd panel, odd panel. But look at here. Now here you've got two, one, two, one, uh, two, one. So this becomes really interesting. That one's sold as well. Same person? Same person. Yeah, because that really, again, emphasizes the, um, you know, the whole concept of touched by the maker. So you've got this slightly smaller, slightly larger, but you've also got this progression. Um, it's, and it's really exciting that it's actually going to one person who, for whom we'll probably hear about it forever. Are, is the Tomoko gas or electric? Is that, or you, you're not asking me. No, I'm asking Steve. Oh, wow. Now here's the Andy Warhol one. Oh, wow. I don't know if any of you are familiar no, with Andy. Um, that Finnish artist. Selling, no, uh, Salomon Harrow? No, um, textile. Well, if you, uh, uh, Andy Warhol did a whole series. Marime Marimekko or... Marimekko, yeah. That's what I see. Okay, well, I see, well, probably our references are different. Maybe. But um, Andy Warhol did a fabulous series of, um, 
of paintings, and this asked to, uh, Steve's watching. Yeah, what, is, what was your inspiration on that one, Steve? Is this Andy Warhol or Mary Mecca, or are we both out to lunch? Or is it the garden? Or is it the garden? Because he has a gorgeous garden up there. But to me, that's Andy Warhol. And I kind of like the idea. We've got Tom Thompson over there. We've got Andy Warhol there. We've got... Uh, These are fired in reduction. Those are reduction. But look at that. So this is another one of the tea bowls. So these are $100. And that's going over there. And, uh, and, and here we have another... Now, look at this. James, in particular. That's Halifax the, the guy. third and final Okay, one. so look at this. This one... You've got all the temoku. So here you've got the, all the temoku, but without, without the, like that. So even though, so Steve likes to play around. So what's incredible here, when you line these up, you've got the, the panels, all the same progression the progression and then you see so you've got it goes one and then you've got or rather none one and two so you've got this fabulous progression that is really really incredible he hasn't bit yet no um plum blossom inspired for that tea plum bowl. blossom inspired okay well hang that to this and here we have oh wow Wow. Wow, I'll show this to you guys too. Look at that. Now here, this is Matt. The third bowl sold. The third bowl, same guy? Yeah. Okay. Intelligent man. I hope Steve can make more of them. Yeah, so there we go. Where's that? Where was one? one here. Uh, we love doing the red dots, you know. So there you go, see? There. Okay, so look at this. So here you've got the Tomoko glaze inside, and then you've got, this is a matte outside so this is raw but there is a an inking that has gone on and then here and he's always got a really nice little mark beautifully turned um this has got just uh this is really really cool very tactile the, you know the uh, do you mean sold for the one he's holding or the third bowl james Well, anyway, no, we, we're not, no dead air. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. We have three of the tea bowls there. We are now done box number one, yes. and we're going to move on. Oh, you want to see this one? Yeah. Too? Okay. So here we... Uh, Brian told me I had to be the one to bend over today. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Holy sh... Whoa. Oh this God. is absolutely... Absolutely. Wow. Oh my God. Whoa. This is brilliant. That is gorgeous. Now what's also brilliant is uh, my immediate ability to connect the dots. That one's sold. Okay. To whom? James. Oh my gosh. Fred's going to kill you, James. You're not going to have enough money for wine. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, so look at this. Now this is really incredible and when it comes to connecting so these are all um elements that we see because artists will you know revisit elements so all of these elements are referenced in other work and while brian is giving you a close up and i'm babbling i'm going to just bring this out here we because I think some of these are there. Yep, jellyfish. Yeah. So look guys, here you've got the jellyfish there, and here you've got, where are they? You've got it there. Then you've got the, the knots there, which are referenced here. Sort of. And then you've got this design, which is elsewhere. And we, so what's really cool is that here you've got this fabulous form, which has a, uh, you know, it does have an opening there. So which put, is in the shape of one of these things. Yeah, which is there. So you see, Brian's getting in on the act here. So and then you've got all of these these waves and everything. Again, this is this is a dry. This is carved. Scraffito. Scraffitoed, and it's absolutely. So there's a lot of time that's gone into this, which is, and yet it's only $1,900. Um, 
Um, and but that is really beautiful. You know, because you have that. Who? Um, well, when they come in, I got to show it to them. Okay. Uh, Steve, how many hours do you think that piece took you for the design? This is just magic. Well, let's get the other box open while he's while he's figuring out how long it took him. Yep. Okay. So we're on. The, we're now. At, we're down now in the home stretch, and um, we'll see what's going on here. Um, oh, one. You can see that this really did. We, uh, all right, and here we are in the home stretch. We may as well move the ones that people can't have. Notice the red shoes. Yes. You know, let me get that out of the way. Yeah. So that's. Down there. 40 hours work. 40 hours, okay. Maybe. So remember, so this piece is $1,900. So he's getting $950. Now, you take that, you divide the 40 hours into that, and um, he's not even getting minimum wage. Uh, but anyway, um, and this is all well marked. So here we have a lid, and uh, which means that somewhere we've got a bottom. Get and ready, Nancy. Okay, oh, this is what, well, there's three lids, so I don't know. This is really exciting, you know. It's always nice doing it with a socially distanced crowd. There's only one like that. Okay, and look, now we can see. That's manganese, I think. Manganese? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here, whoa. Diane, is Diane on? Diane watching this? Diane. My cousin. Oh, Vancouver. Diane is watching, yes, yeah. sorry. Okay. We know a lot of Dianes. Yeah. So I'm getting the, oh, wow. Look at the plum. Oh, wow. This is, ab so there, of course, is the tomoko, and then here you've got this wonderful plum. I'm unwrapping the lids first, and then we will. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous, Nancy. That is absolutely incredible. Um, just on the brief description, Brian suggested to uh, Nancy, who, as well as being our, one of our artists, is a major supporter of the gallery. And, uh, oh, and here's that blue. Ooh, that's coming. Oh sense. my God. That's, oh wow. Look, isn't <gasps> that sweet? That is stunning. I can't wait to see the rest. And look at the, Look at the glaze. The, it's got this real, real sparkle to it. That's stunning. That is just absolutely. In the 20 years, we don't get very many pieces that have that. Yeah. Meg Burgess did a lot of that. Yeah. She, this is. Uh... Oh, and now here is, uh, this is a, a traditional mug by Steve. We have sold so many of these guys. Are uh, these cone six as well, Steve? So that is really, this is just a good, Nice functional, functional mug, and uh, the first of the pieces requiring a lid. Oh my God, Nancy, you're gonna flip. This is a panty wetter. This is absolutely, absolutely. Oh my God, absolutely amazing. This is gorgeous. That is just absolutely. Oh my God, incredible, beautiful. Look at the color. Look at the. That is fabulous. That is just. That is. That's magic. That is just. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow. And of course, it's got my favorite glaze, that Tumaku. But that is just beautiful. See, I was expecting that green glaze on it. Yeah, I was expecting that as well. But I was expecting that because that's what you told me to expect. But <laughs> that's what I, I thought. This is really. That is beautiful. That is just absolutely stunning. Wow. Okay, so. That is just, uh, oh my God. So the old style mugs are cone 10. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Wow. This is like madness. Look at that. Which one? This is who? Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And that has already. That's sold. Gone. Yeah. Wow. 
Oh my God, that is so stunning. Wow. We'd like a dozen more of those, Steve. In different colors. You know, work your way through the rainbow. You can do it. Oh gosh. Oh my God, look at this. So these, are, the, Steve's having a lot of fun playing with glazes because these are quite remarkable. And uh, they're so fresh. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Diane, are you watching? Diane, this one, this one, this should, this really deserves to be in. Uh, At least to live with you, Diane. Yeah. That is absolutely, where's the lid? That is gorgeous. That is just incredibly beautiful. And then here we have, okay. So th remember, this is the form that Steve did, has done before, though we've not had it with this glaze. Uh, so these are, you know, for people who are into blue, this is, and it's really nice because when you're holding it's it, there's a this, violet blue. this little bit here prevents you from burning your fingers there, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that's intended to be the reason, but that's going to be the story from now on. Okay, and here we have another one. So anyone looking for a set of six mugs, we've got three sets. And now the final, what's here? Oh no, we've got another. Uh, There's nine of the old style mugs. Nine of the old style, three, six. There. Are there only three T-balls? Three T-balls, yeah. Oh. And, whoops. And there we have the unwrapping. Isn't that cool? This is really very exciting. A nice, uh, a nice mix. Oh, and look, look how nicely that stacks, which we possibly wouldn't have known if it wasn't for the fact that we ran out of room. So there, there you go, James. It'll stack in the car. I would put the bottom one down, but you know what's really cool, James, is that once you stack these, and I will stack them in order, uh, so this is the one, this is the one, okay, so this is the two, this is the one, and this is the none. So you've got bang, bang. That's how they were stacked. That's how they were stacked? Believe it or not. Believe it or not, that's, so look at that. That is so absolutely wonderful. So those are going off to Halifax. And um, this would be, uh, yeah, so they'll, hopefully they'll get there before there's a spousal war. Um, the other one is going off to Halifax. Um, this one is not going off to Halifax. This is really, really cool. This is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. This is all the actors at Stratford who are now trapped. This is very good because, you know, this is all about uh, cocooning because it's almost like you've got this hive. Everybody, all, they're all socially distancing. This is, um, this is a Zoom event in pottery. Okay, so there you have, folks, a wonderful array of work by Steve Irvine. And we have other spectacular pieces from Steve because remember, this is uh, Steve's 52nd year of, uh, of doing clay. Uh, on his 50th anniversary, we had a great, absolutely great, it was, abs it was magic. And, um, and just such a, an extraordinary variety of work, um, exhibiting a wide range of, of his talents. And uh, the other thing to remember, guys, anybody watching, this is the time to really support small bricks and mortar business. I don't need me, necessarily, though that would be nice. But, so if you're looking for something, like this book right here, I went down and picked that up from Attic Books in hopes that it would have the uh, spring thaw, it didn't. But Attic Books, one of the best store, bookstores in the world. And if you wanna to listen to some music while you're uh, reading your book and drinking your cup of tea, uh, Grooves next door to Attic Books, absolutely incredible. Just think, three magical businesses like that, bricks and mortar businesses on the streets of London and those, those uh, examples are all over the world in little towns on little streets. Support small business. Uh, you don't need Amazon. Bye.